am Jamie Doris, Miss Congeniality. Come join me each week as I highlight the exceptional people and places of our beautiful Gulf Coast. It's candid. It's fun. Get that Mississippi for real with it. Beat. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Prepare to be surprised with me, Jamie Doris. I am Miss Congeniality. Hello and welcome to Miss Congeniality. I'm your host, Jamie Doris, and today we are celebrating the end of Miss Congeniality TV Season 1 with a special Christmas Memories episode. So, grab yourself some champagne. As we take a look back at some of our favorite memories throughout the year, we've combed through the footage to find the funniest, scariest, sweetest, and most popular video clips. Does it taste delicious, Jeppy? And we're bringing back some of a few familiar faces for the first ever Miss Congeniality All-Star Awards. It's like an award show without the party expense. I would like to thank my daddy for saying never has he ever heard anybody talk so much. So pull up a chair and your favorite drink, and let's cheers to the success of the first season of the show. But first, a word from our title sponsor, Lazy Magnolia. When I first started my online show, the goal was to feature popular people from Mississippi. People doing interesting things, had touches of fame, popular people that everyone knows, right? This season, we interviewed the well-known chef, Chappie, and heard about his adventures with Julia Child. Julia just wants about the quality. Does it taste good? Does it taste delicious, Chappie? <laughs> That's what she would say. <laughs> we got to talk to Lakeisha Cotton and hear about her connection with B.B. King. She clipped the toenails of B.B. King. She did. We also met a Gaucher man who ran for president. This is, of course, President Reagan, and that's actually Rupert Murdoch there. This is years ago. This is 1983, and that's me right in the back there. <gasps> that's Young... you with the little mustache. Yeah, it's in the Situation Room in the White House. But none of those videos were as popular as the one with the one and only exterior designer, Katherine Ernsberg. And she's not even from Mississippi. <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> welcome to our special season finale I'm show. I'm so excited to be here. Was it really the most popular episode of your show? It is. That's awesome. Look, you've so thousands of views. <laughs> it was shared like 50 times. That's amazing. I had no idea. Yes, it was the most popular video Yay! we had. Yay! So what was your experience like? That's all I need on? to know. I don't even need any kind of like, that's it. That's all I need. Well, that's then awesome. we'll go ahead and give you your award. <laughs> I don't even need an award. That's enough award. It's that our is... first ever most popular Miss Congeniality All Star. Oh my gosh, that is so <laughs> amazing! I love this. Oh my god, who made these? There's a lady in um, in northern Mississippi named Joan. I'll have all of her information um, on the incredible. show as well. Isn't that cool? So a... it's my first little trophies. I'm doing like a. Um... I have a shelf, perfect to put it right on. It's my first award ever. There will be a piece of me in your home. I love this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So tell everyone about your experience being on Miss Congeniality. Was it, it crazy? Was, it was It was so much fun watching you work in a um, full, well, it wasn't really an evening gown. I don't know what you would call it. There was a lot of um, sequins and jewels to be me? working outside. And I'm like sweating basically like, and I was like a drowned rat by the end of the segment. And you still had full makeup and hair. But other than that craziness, it was great because you like did everything I asked you to do. You were very compliant. <laughs> with all of my needs and then we came over and we assembled it and it was great and if you haven't seen it yet she pimped my porch and it was <laughs> totally amazing we sit out on that porch every oh, single night and now i have a new puppy and he's out there on that porch every single night i love it yeah that's, that's all great. that's all i can ask for is that when we design spaces that you love them so much that you just want to be out there well and not only do, do i love it but everybody the audience loved yeah, it because she got the popularity award yay, yay so thank cheers. you guys <laughs> All right, y'all, after the break, we break out another award. It's the Personality Award. Stay with us. Do you know Petro? You definitely should. This 
is Tony Petro. His name is well known in South Mississippi after 30 years in the car business. Now he's bringing his trusted name to the coast. Welcome to Petro Chevrolet and Petro Cadillac in Pascagoula. Jonathan, we are thrilled to finally be open for business here in coastal Mississippi. We're always focused on the customer first, and that's really what the Petro brand is all about. So visit us online. And come by and see us here at Petro Chevrolet and Petro Cadillac in Pascagoula. Alright you guys, and we're back with the special Miss Congeniality TV season finale. We are showing you the best of the best from season one of the show. One thing I love about doing what I do is that I get to meet all sorts of people who just defy stereotypes. And during this season, we met people who just act and talk in ways that others are not expecting. People with charm and courage and wit. And here are some of the people that we met during the season. Check it out. What do you do to have such a beautiful glow on your face? I guess I use a lot of moisturizer. And every now and then I get a facial. Do you really? Yes, I do. <laughs> she really knows how to cook. And I'm very lucky to have her in my crew. A jade egg is a device used for female stimulation and exercise uh, involving the kegel muscle. Where is the craziest place you've ever had sex? Oh my gosh. Woo. Elevator? <laughs> beach. On the beach. That's it? Yes. That's crazy? That was crazy the way I did it. <laughs> Are you hiding from me? No, I can't miss you. <laughs> It'll be fair to partly beautiful and an awesome Peter Hansen festival. <laughs> and I'm going to find me a treasure ship in the Bahamas. I'm going to go dive on it and I'm gonna pull up a pile of gold. What is this again? Spinach, sweet potato crumbles, shaved red onions, toasted pecans, Parmesan cheese, and beets with a maple bacon and bourbon. But there were no other surprise personalities like the one and only Sheena Miles. Sheena, you were the first ever episode and you surprised me with your over-the-top antics both on and off the screen. Tell us a little bit about your interview. Well, my interview was all about the theater and everything associated with the theater. Including, including vaginas. Until we took a left. Right. <laughs> we took a left and went south. <laughs> you call it a purse? Purse, pocketbook, but JJ, vag, coochie. Okay, that's oh, coming oh. up in April. I can't wait. I will be April. there. I'll you be on the front be row. Bring yours with you. Yeah. <laughs> Down the great highway we all come through in order to make it on this earth. I Boom. love you. <laughs> Why are you so free with your spirit? Um, I am unapologetic because I was afraid of so many things for so long, and I was like, you know what? At 32, I called it my year being ice cold because I didn't care, honey. And from there on, when I thawed out, she thawed out. <laughs> she thawed out everything. I love it. Yeah. So, if you could do one more show or segment with me, what would you choose to do? Oh, it would be called Ebony and Ivory. The coast ain't ready. They don't even know. They don't even know, honey. It's like boom, 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 boom. All the freedoms. How, how All the know? freedoms. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> All the freedoms. Well, Sheena, you have been awarded my first ever Miss Congeniality Ooh. Personality All-Star Award. Oh, thank you. They love me. Really love me. And I love you, too. Is there a speech? Yes. Okay, first of all, I would like to thank my mama for telling me I was doing too much. I would like to thank my daddy for saying never has he ever heard anybody talk so much. I would like to thank my sisters and brothers for telling me to hush and everybody else that encouraged me to speak up and for Jamie for putting this stuff together. <laughs> up next, we are giving away another award. This one is the Teen Spirit Award to somebody who's been around long enough to have his own Miss Congeniality TV hashtag. Stay with us. Look at all the stuff you can get from Coastal Hardware. <laughs> the secret is out, Jamie. The best shopping on the Gulf Coast is right here at a hardware store. We've got lumber, tools and hardware, lawn and garden, plumbing, neutrino feed, paint, toys, gifts, jewelry, clothes. Don't forget the boots and bird feeders. 
We are more than a hardware store. Come experience our Southern hospitality. Highway 603, The Kiln. Some uh, giant beer cans. Hurricane wreckage. Spaceships. Where are the rides? Scientology Church. It's the Oral Keep Museum of Art. Visit our website at georgeor.org and become a member of the Mad Potter Society. We promise we won't make you stand on your head. All right, you guys, and we are back. In this first season of Miss Congeniality, it has taken lots of people to be involved to get this thing going. If you've ever built anything, you know you need early adopters, people who believe in you before you even sometimes even believe in yourself. And our next special guest is that person. He not only has been in every single episode of Miss Congeniality, but he's also had his own cooking segment, and he has become what I'm like terming Professor Tyler Cambry. Check out these videos of him teaching about health. Cruciferous vegetables contain a compound called sulforaphane, and they, it is shown to reduce and to fight cancer, actually. What I want to tell you about flaxseed is that it is single-handedly the most powerful thing you can consume to lower blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, you or someone you love has high blood pressure, flaxseed, two tablespoons a day could change your life. And what's beneficial about lysopene, the more lysopene that is in your blood, the better your mood, the happier you are, the less Really? Less so of you must eat a lot of lysopene. I, I drink it straight, straight <laughs> to the soil. <laughs> to the straw. <laughs> and a plant-based diet is the best thing you can do for your health. All right, Tyler, what'd you think of all that? I, I guess I know some stuff. You do? <laughs> you do? Well, welcome to my house. Yes. Different scene. I love it, though. Do you know why you're here? Um, to be comfy in my PJs. <laughs> nice pajamas, by thank the you, way. Thank you. So you have been in every single episode of Miss Congeniality in season one. How does that feel? I kind of feel like a, like a big shot, to be honest. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what would you do differently? What would I do differently? Probably educate people more. I feel like I held back on some of the stuff. They need to know more. Professor T needs to really come out with more guns. Trying to teach. Got to teach the people. You are so funny. <laughs> you know what? What would you say was like maybe your top favorite moments of the season? Top favorite moments? Yeah. Um, beyond me singing to you. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 beyond that, what else would it be? Well, uh, I don't know if you got it, got it on there, uh, but the, the little the Hawaiian <laughs> mantra. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> And uh, we got to drink beer on set, which was I mean, kind of kind of fun, you know. It doesn't you don't think that happens on TV, or you might like just one shot of vodka, glug glug glug. You know, yeah. talking about yes. you don't know. Okay. No, I don't. Okay, we'll get What about that. the banana costume? <laughs> that, um, yeah, I I assumed when you say Halloween, like we're dressing up for Halloween, you just assume a costume, and that wasn't the case. Y'all were definitely overdressed, no doubt. And, <laughs> and now. <laughs> The first ever recipient of the Ms. Congeniality All-Star Team Spirit Award. I'm bringing the spirit, baby. <laughs> so would you like to give your acceptance speech to the camera? I, I would. Thank, first off, I'd like, to, I'd like to thank my mama for giving me this, this opportunity to, to be alive and to, to uh, give me the, the things of, <laughs> of life. But and in all, um, I'm grateful and want to thank Jamie for giving me the opportunity to even be on here. And no matter what you do, bring the spirit, support the team, and you will get awarded. All right, y'all. Up next, we are taking our trip down memory lane into a fast forward frenzy. It's all of the fun of the season wrapped up in some other special recognitions. All are welcome at the Mockingbird Cafe. We believe in the connectedness of our community, and that has always been our driving force. We've been called the living room of the bay, but I think we're more like the kitchen table of your favorite auntie. Beautiful meals, business deals, romance, political aspirations, everything goes down here. Homemade biscuits and homemade jam. We have terrific coffee and yoga upstairs. Come see us in Old Town Bay St. Louis. Let's talk about something that women don't want to talk about, and that is incontinence. We at the Women's Clinic have a simple procedure that we can do to take care of that. We use the Fatona laser. Um, it's a simple procedure. 
you have tightening, you have enhanced lubrication. Um, sex isn't painful anymore, and you don't have that leakage that you deal with on a daily basis. Come see us at the Women's Clinic in Gulfport. We're right by Gulfport Memorial Hospital. Welcome back, y'all. Now that we have given out three of the All-Star Awards, I think it's time that we check out other segments of the season that were notable for other reasons. We have come through seven hours of edited footage, which is a lot. So here are the top choices. <laughs> <laughs> the most theatrical video goes to Jonathan Brannon and Dolce Bake Shop. <laughs> Jonathan, are you OK? We're going to get a new CPR. <laughs> The most progressive award goes to Leslie and Mark Henderson with their Tesla. I'm going too fast. I feel like I'm going too fast. Then tell it to only go 35. Only go 35, car. Our shakiest video award goes to the 1913 Ford Model T with Jason Pryor. They were going to be teaching mechanics in school. This would be the car that, in my opinion, they should start. They should start with. And who can forget the female pleasure chat with the multi-orgasmic mama? She wins the sexiest video award. What does an orgasm feel like for a woman? <laughs> well, in the mind and emotional state, it's like you're completely present and in the moment. And it's like your mind kind of goes offline for a little bit. And finally, our heartfelt award goes to this gospel music star, Lakeisha Cotton. And the first time that I sang publicly outside of school plays and things like that, I was nine at my mother's funeral. Yeah. At your mother's funeral? I did. I did. I was nine years old. Wow, y'all, I really love my job, and I am just so thankful that I can bring all these wonderful moments to your TV every single week. Um, it may surprise you to know this about me, but a lot of times I have no idea what I'm even doing, right? I just go out and do the things that just bring me joy, and a lot of times I don't even really have words for what it is that I'm trying to achieve. But after reviewing the footage from season one, I started to see like patterns emerge and I'm starting to see like little themes that are running throughout. So if you're like me and you're wondering what the show's even about, check, check, check this out. Lower. Miss Congeniality is about having fun. <laughs> right here, Barber. Yeah, that's right. And experiencing new things. And we are up, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> and this is Greek. We gonna lift the jowls. There's always fear. Today we are doing something I am deathly afraid of. I could never do that. No, I'm good. We're looking for ghost. So we want to use you as bait tonight. I'm really freaking scared. <laughs> just joking, I'm just joking. Oh my God. <laughs> and we don't always do it right or win. Put me up the bus to butt. Oh, whoa, 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 that's not how you do it. Jamie, is that a hair on your chin? Oh, did I shake my underarms? <laughs> Poke it up, poke it up, no shame. <laughs> but there's so much to know and so many great people to meet. Hi. You're like Popeye. Woo. Just keep spraying. So many fun songs to sing. And yes, there's a song for just about everything. Cause this is Pedro! <laughs> Pedro's pride! We're up in T's house, it's quiet as a mouse, he's doing his single guy thing. Just oh, I love you. But most of all, this show is about unity. That's but the year I graduated high school! Really? <laughs> Me, I'm a Jamie. How do you call Owen. Owen? Owen Santiago. Owen Santiago. And standing out. Deborah said I get to do it in my street clothes. <laughs> yes, honey, you are snatched to the god. You have definitely put this over the top. This is my other uncle. And being curious. Can people do that on a tour? No. Oh. And sharing love. I love you. I love you. I love this. I love you too. Nice go, nice go, nice. I like it a lot. Thank you, Janie, for making me happy today. <laughs> How do I keep a healthy body? 
ate my veggies. But really, there's more to it than that. In order to have a healthy body, you need to live a healthy lifestyle. My name is Tyler Cambry, and I have a plan for you to transform your life. Learn more at TylerCambry.com. Welcome to Antonian Salon. I'm Amory Wally, the owner. My mother opened the salon in 1996. My husband works here. My cousin works here. My sister works here. And once you work for us, your family. We are the Gulf Coast go-to glam squad. We do hair, we do nails, we do makeup. We are there for you on your special day. Come see us at Antonian Salon here in Gulfport. And we are ending this fabulous Miss Congeniality season finale with our fourth and final Miss Congeniality All-Star. Now, this man was not well enough to be in any of the episodes in the first season, but he has been such a support of my show online for a very long time. My ghost, baby, you can let go. Don't drink all the beer, though. Have you been casino? That is Arturo Barajas. Yes, he's a South Mississippi star. He came to the U.S. From Mexico as a young man, working his way up from casino custodian to multi-business owner, he started two publications, The Magnolia Leisure and Play the Coast, and he started the first Coast Hookah Bar, Mosaic, well before it was ever even popular. And he had his hand in several festivals, including Mayfest in downtown Ocean Springs. He's a dear friend who's been struggling with cancer for the last few years, and I would like to give a warm Miss Congeniality welcome to Arturo. Thank you so much for being on my Christmas show. Thank you very much. Thank you for oh, inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for being on my show. Do you remember how we met? Yeah, a long, long time ago when we were both working at uh, Chile's in Goldport, we were just a uh, couple of little kids, you know, they were trying to to uh, explore life and make money so we could go have fun and buy clothes and, you know, just, just enjoy life. So out of all the achievements, I just listed all the stuff that you have done so far in your life, what is it that you're most proud of? Well, I don't know which one to choose. I just want to see people uh, see the results of what I do. I'm not really counting money. I'm not really counting anything. I'm just, I just really like to see people happy after I do something, whether it's specifically for them or for the community that impacts directly and they receive a benefit and puts a smile on their face. And you've been very, very successful. So I have to know, Christmas is coming up. Here we are. I'm in my Christmas PJ. So are you. What do you want for Christmas? That is one of the questions that I was not expecting. But, you know, you have to just come up with an answer, accept, and all I want is healing. That's all I want. Me too. Not just for me. Not just for me, for all those people that are out there that whether they have insurance or not, everybody should have a possibility. Everybody should have a, a, an opportunity to, to reach the, uh, the, the cure. Everybody should have access to, to, to medical treatments. Not just the ones that have money, you know? So that is, that is what I, 
what I wish the most. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, on this note, I'm going to give you something that I've been planning for for the last four weeks. And it's something very, very special to me. Um, I've nominated you twice for the 40 Under 40 Award here on the Gulf Coast. And I decided to come up with my own darn award. And it's called the Miss Congeniality All-Star. Oh. And this is the Miss Congeniality Achievement All-Star that I want to give to you for all of the work you've done for the Mississippi Gulf Coast and for all the work you will continue to do. And that's a heart. That's my heart. It's really big. Because so is yours. Thank you. I'll put it right over here. Is there anything else you would like to say to round out the interview? Um, what I would like to say is uh, for people especially for, for parents, you know, to educate their people, to, to get familiar with what, what cancer is. Because I don't know if it was my fault. They say it was a mutation. I don't know if it was not, but I think I, it was part of my fault for not or not stopping sometimes I smell the flowers. Artura, thank you so much for interviewing with me. I know it wasn't an easy decision, but I am so grateful for you. And I just want to let you know that I love you and I'm cheering thank for you. you. Yeah, it's a good baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Have you met Dakota yet? This is the newest addition to the Miss Congeniality family coming in season two. And that is all the time we have for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you would like to know more about the show, visit my website at misscon.tv. If you like my hair, check out my girls at Antonian Salon. And from my family to yours, I'm wishing you the happiest and safest holiday season. Remember to try new things, have fun, and love, love, love. Until next time, I am Miss Congeniality. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. He's so sweet. <laughs>